Hello everyone, I'm Sophie and I'm currently at Kachara Forest Retreat, Bentong, Malaysia. And this is the book that I'll be reading from, Nothing Changes, Everything Changes. This is by my guru, His Eminence, the 25th, Sam Toko Rinpoche. I'll be reading from page 50 on the topic of Nothing Changes. So as usual, before I read, I will go to a picture. No, sorry, this one, yes. This is uh, Rinpoche with Chojela, the Panlong Kuten, the seventh Panlong Kuten, who is the oracle for Doje Shukten, and all the pastors and um, Sangha to be. This is at uh, Wisdom Hall, Kachara Forest Retreat. Okay, page 50. Imagine if I asked people to skip dinner, they'll all get me. It says in the 50 verses of Guru Devotion, all of us should read that, especially if you have taken refuge. For my Guru, I can even give up my wife, my kids, my wealth. I can give up everything. You read that. That's not made up by crazy Sam Rinpoche. I dare not. Imagine me asking somebody, Oh, don't have a wife, don't have a girlfriend, do dharma. Oh, I'll get slapped silly. I got to look outside for booby traps. They'll get me. Yeah, there will be a permanent Buddhist jihad on me. I know everybody is going to get me. Forget about telling them to give up their wife and all stuff. I just say, can you give up one night a week to listen to the Dharma? Maybe four hours. Oh my God, to drag them here, to bag them, to go there, drag them, cuddle them. Like Kalarupa had a cudgel. Knock them out, bag them, drag them here and have them sit here and give them jokes, give them fun, give them coffee, give them aircon, give them a nice room, give them a painted place beautiful altars, give them all this for them to come to listen to the Dharma. You have to drag them. They are heavier than a corpse. At least corpses, you just drag them, they hold on. They, won't, they don't want to let go. Oh yes, it's very hard. And that's what a smuru or a real guru has to go through to bring people to the Dharma. It's a monumental effort and that's for one person. Then you multiply that. Because each one of us, we have 108 reasons to kill our guru, to get him. So imagine if our guru says, do you think you can go vegetarian for one week? And then he's got to duck. Oh my God, you'll throw a lamb chop at him. I'm not going into vegetarian. I've been eating meat for my whole life. Then if your guru says, do you think you can drive beyond 10 minutes to get to Dharma? But I live in Shah, Egypt, and it takes me five hours to drive there, and I'm not going there. And then some people are like, but I didn't eat din din. I can't go to the Dharma talk. I didn't eat din din. Oh my God. Or some people, I think tonight I'm going to get laid. And then there are some people, oh, I'm sleepy. Or some of them, they profess they have bird flu. They go, achoo, I got bird flu. I can't make it. I'm like, what? Why? Because they look at a map of China and so they got bird flu. I'm like, oh yeah, that makes a lot of sense. And there are other people, well, there's someone in Dharma I don't like and they disturb my mind, so I'm not going. Oh God, so many excuses. So imagine... A guru asks you to come to a Dharma talk. You know how much effort it is on his part because he's asking for it and that's just you. One, imagine how many times you multiply that when you have a Dharma talk. How many people he has to deal with, how many SMSs and messages he has to deal with, the excuses and that is just to help them. And that's just small things. Skip din din, be a little late, be a little sleepy, 
Maybe your lover scream at you, whatever. But heaven forbid if you, are, if you ask them to give up their wife or their husband for the Dharma. Oh my God. They are going to be wearing I love Osa Bin Laden and Sam Rinpoche t-shirts. And you know what that means? They are going to come look for me. The irony of these I love Osa Bin Laden shirts, you know everybody hates him, but they wear it just to taunt him. Couldn't you see? Next year you're going to see me on trial somewhere in America. I'm maybe like Saddam Hussein. I was pulled out of a cave and I got overgrown beard and hair and I'm all disheveled. Hey, then... He made me study the Dhamma, he did. And all of you will be in the witness stand. Yes, he made me study the Lamrim. And then flying Lamrims. And then the judge, of course, is Henry sitting there going, Order in the court. There will be no more throwing of Lamrim books at the defendant. Can you imagine that? Can you imagine the guru there telling them to live their lives differently? If I tell a student to live their life differently, do you know how much reaction I get back that's negative? If I tell them that they might be wrong, you know, they take the news and they wave it at me because I know what's going to happen to me when I go for that little boy's room. Rinpoche found dead in toilet. Can you imagine that? Ah, imagine if I ask people to change their life, skip din din, transform themselves give up something, and you know what? I wouldn't dare ask for anything like that. No way. None of us are at that level. If we are at that level, we wouldn't have to give up our husbands or wives anyway. We, have, we would have no attachment. We can be without attachments and be happy. See, during Buddha's times, the gurus walked around and the students tiptoe around them. These days, the gurus got to tiptoe around the students. Can you imagine that? Imagine his toe is like Barishnikov, you know, always on ballet time. I went to see the podiatrist today, by the way. Oh yes, and then if you ask someone, can you please SMS me back the results? Please, I will give you coffee bean money and I will be nice to you and you get to go home early and oh no, 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 no. To ask someone to do something for you, it's a big no-no. So if you tell them to change their lifestyle, if you tell them something wrong according to the Dharma, the yardstick of Dharma, you will get it. You will get it. Never mind asking them to sacrifice things that will bring them more harm, even when you can see clearly by logic or sometimes by divination, sometimes by dharma, you can see clearly they are going the wrong direction. And if you tell them something, they will think of 108 ways to justify what they are, going, they are doing back to you. And they will get you. They will justify to people around you and they will keep talking and talking and bitching and complaining. Do you know why? Because they are not doing things for others. They are doing things on the basis of others. If I get this, if I get that, if I get this, if I get that, then I will do this. Then, therefore, it doesn't constitute Dharma practice. Why? There's no transformation. So those types of people, they are not bad. But when something happens, they will suffer tremendously. Why will they suffer tremendously? Because they didn't do Dharma for others. They did it on the basis of others. Big difference. None of us can check what we're doing and compare and judge other people's lives. But we definitely can set them in the right direction because judge or set them in the right direction are just different words. Otherwise, there will be no Buddha, there will be no gurus, there will be no enlightened beings and there will be no attainments. And that is to say that no one has attainments on this planet.
No one. Then why have a guru? Why? Why prostrate to a guru who knows less than you? No, wrong. Wrong attitude. So the purpose of the Dharma talks in this class is that we can get Dharma knowledge to change nothing, yet everything. And hence, we have these classes. I enjoy it. I look forward to it. And look at the beautiful place and look at how comfortable and nice it is. You know, for us, our group, always something nice manifests, a nice center, nice place. Everything manifests to receive the Dharma. And I end this here. And as Rinpoche joke, although he does joke, and you know, he can be very funny, but the underlying message is, um, if we find a lot of reasons not to do Dharma, then we are not doing on the basis of, for others. Instead, we are doing on the basis of others, which means that um, we are not doing it for them happily. We are doing it for you know reasons that is convenient for us, and that is um, not something that will be very that will create stability in our dharma practices. And often, you know, there will be reasons that will take us away from the dharma. So it is. Um, and also, there's another message that I read from that, which is that when we're receiving the Dharma, we should be very, very humble and be very appreciative of the person who is um, giving us the Dharma. It doesn't matter whether it's the Guru or uh, maybe our um, Dharma brothers or sisters who are more learned and is able to, um, you know, um, who has more uh, teachings or you know, is able to grasp the Dharma better that, um, that helps to, um, you know, uh, guide us, then we, sh we should be more appreciative and be humble when we are, we are receiving that, you know, instead of being um, proud or having the ego to say that um, um, we are right. So that is the message that I receive here, that uh, we should be really appreciative when we receive the Dharma. So anyway, thank you for sharing your time with me. And I do hope that if you do you know, have a um, Dharma guru, a guru who, who is able to give you the Dharma, be very appreciative of the time that you have you know, in receiving the Dharma from your guru because it is very, very precious. And... The, the Dharma itself, you know, help you to um, be able to broaden the view, your views and your perspective and to change your minds into the, on the ways that you look at things, you know, to guide you to a better way of life. So be very appreciative. Thank you. And I'll um, complete this with a completion dedication in Tibetan. Changjup Sanchor and Boshi, Maki Panam Gishi, Gepanam Pame Payang, Goni Gondu Pewashu, Tony Tower in Boshi, Maki Panam Gishi, Gepanam Pame Payang, Goni Gondu Pewashu, Daso Gini Sapagi Wadi, Tandandroa Gunaka Badan, Jepa Jesu Nosan Trapai, Tumping in Porin to Sa Seisho, Kewa Kuntu Yandala Madan, Drummy Choki Palan on Chochi, Sadam Nangi Yaterazoni, Doji Changing of Panga to Sir, Kewa D, Yududa, Namasanga Droyone, Drewa Chikia Malupa, De Sala Gopa. Joki Kaposungapa, Chosunam Papewala, Geki Sama Siwa Dan, Tunki Malo Sawasho, Dadam Sangi Dosunda, Drewa Songi Latene, Gewa Los and Trapai, Tampa Yuriva Gushi, Nimo Dele Sendele, Nimi Gunyan Deleshi, Nisin Tatu Dele Pel, Kuncho Sungi Jingilo, Kuncho Sungi Ondruso, Kuncho Sungi Trasi Shop. Jesu Lama Kusen Rap Ting Ching, Nam Katrini Cho Cho Ke Pada, Lossam Tempe Dromi Sap Sungi, Droi Munsa Tato Ni Gyushi, Gang Ri Rao Eko Wei Shin Kam Den, Ben Dan Dewa Ma Lu Gyo Ene, Che Ren Zik Wan Ten Sing Gat So Yi, Cha Pe Shi De Padu Ten Gyushi. Hum Tong Ping O Trum Ma Lu Pa, Den Den Da La Sao Du So, Kho Dan Den Pa Long Chot Nam, Ke Pa So Shik Shuk Ten Sao. Thank you again. And I do hope that you will continue to join me as I go um, towards uh, further into this book. Thank you.